Hello people, welcome back to Gate Computer Science the other way. I am here with a question from Gate exam of 2005. This one is for 2 marks. So before solving it, I like to read the entire statement. Listen it carefully. It says, a company has a class C network address of 204.204.204.0. It wishes to have 3 subnets, 1 with 100 hosts and 2 with 50 hosts each. Which one of the following options represent a feasible set of subnet addresses plus subnet mask pairs? Okay. So they are saying we wish to create three subnets. One subnet is bigger, so it has 100 hosts. The other two are smaller, they have 50 50 hosts each. Okay. So let us call this one as network 1. These two subnets are network 2 and network 3. Okay. Suppose this is the actual network, okay, that is 204.204.204.0. First, we will divide it into half. Then, this part will be kept as it is. The remaining part, this one, it will be further divided into half half, okay. Here, we will be having 100 hosts. So, in one subnet, we need to have 100 hosts. In other two subnets, we will be having 50 50 hosts each okay like this i'm calling this network the bigger one as network one so this is n1 here we have n2 and n3 okay now let us see how many bits will be required minimum in host id part for network n1 it will be seven bits how can i say that seven bits will be required see with seven bits you can have maximum these many hosts. Okay, this is 128 minus 2, that is 126. So maximum 126 hosts can be configured. Out of these, we are configuring only 100. So 7 will work. See, even if I reduce 1 bit, that means if I make it 6, this will be 62. So maximum 62 hosts can be supported with 6 host ID bits. But we need 100. So 6 won't work for N1. But 6 will surely work for N2 and N3. Okay. So minimum 6 bits needs to be there in host ID part for N2 as well as N3. So this is host ID. Okay. Now have a look. The given address, this network address is a class C address. That means this part, the first three octets or first 24 bits, they are the network ID. Okay. And this last octet or these last 8 bits are the host ID. Now we want to subnet it. That means after using these bits for identifying this entire network, we will require some more bits to identify N1, N2 and N3. Okay. So some bits will be borrowed from this host ID. That means we need to extend this network ID. And using those bits, we will be able to identify is it N1 or N2 or N3, okay. Now have a look. If I borrow one bit from host ID, see already till here we have the network ID. Now I am borrowing one bit. With this first bit, I can differentiate between two networks. That means I can differentiate between N1 and that side okay say if this bit is 0 we are talking about n1 for n1 the first bit is 0 for that side the first bit will be 1 okay so this bit will be high for both of n2 and n3 okay based on one bit we can differentiate only between two things that means this one or this one okay now if the first bit is 1 that means if it's given that this first bit is 1 you can be very sure you are talking about any one of these two networks, okay. To differentiate between these two, we need one more bit, okay. So in case if this bit is high, we will see one more bit, okay. So if this bit is zero, then say we are talking about N2. If the next bit is one, say in that case, we are talking about N3, okay. This is called variable length subnet masking. Here, the subnet mask or network ID is of variable length. For this network, the network ID is of 
this size. That means first three octets, that is 24 bits plus one more bit. Here we have borrowed only one bit. But in this case, we have borrowed two bits. So here the network ID is one more extra bit. That means 25 plus one, which is 26 bits. Here network ID is only of 25 bits. Okay, 24 plus one, 25. Now let us see for this network, what will be the complete network ID? Okay, let us complete it. For this network, there will be a lot of IP addresses. Let us list those IP addresses. First IP address in this, in this network, it will be all zeros. Okay. What will be the second IP address? It will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then third one will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Sorry. Last two bits will be one zero. Then you will have one one. Okay, and so on till all ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All seven bits are high. I think you might have noticed this point that in network one, we require seven bits. And yes, we have seven bits. Okay, this part is for host ID. And this part is for network ID. Okay. For network two and three, we have six bits for host ID. Okay, you might have noticed this already. Now in any network, out of all of these IP addresses, the first IP addresses, the first IP address, that means this one. It is called the network ID of this network. And the last IP address, what is the last IP address? 204.204.204. This zero. And then all ones. Okay. This will be the broadcast address. Okay. And all of these addresses, they can be given to hosts. Anyways, we just wanted to find the network ID. So what will be the network ID for this one? It is 204.204.204.0. Okay, all of these bits are zero. So its network ID is, I am just using some other color. Yeah, I have a red marker. So let's write it. It is 204.204.204.0. Now let us also find its subnet mask. Subnet mask is in all the network ID bits, write a one, okay. So this, there will be some binary pattern of eight bits for 204. Make all of those bits one. So we will have eight bits high, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for this last octet, only one bit is network ID. So only one, so dot, I'm writing it here. One, okay, for network ID one, and all of these are host ID. We will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We will have 7 zeros. Okay. Now have a look. It is 255.255.255.128. This number is 128. Okay. So the subnet mask is all ones dot all ones dot all ones and only first bit 1 which is 128. Okay. Now we'll just quickly just discuss both of them also. So for this one, what will be the network ID? For finding out network ID, place all zeros in host ID part. That is first IP address. Okay. So it will be 204.204.204.0. And this is one followed by all zeros, which is 128. Okay. Slash the subnet mask will be all ones in first three octet octets. That means 255, 255, 255. So after this, we have only two bits in network ID. That means one, one, then all zeros. Okay. First two bits are part of network ID. This is all network ID. So one, one, all zeros means 192. Okay. 
डॉट वन नाइंटी टू ओके नाउ आई जस्ट राइट द नेटवर्क आई डी एंड सबनेट मास्क फॉर दस वन क्विकली ओके द नेटवर्क आई डी विल बी टू जीरो फोर डॉट टू जीरो फोर डॉट टू जीरो फोर डॉट वन वन एंड एन ऑल ऑफ दिस होस्ट आई डी बिट्स यू पोटा जीरो दैट इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड द फर्स्ट आई पी एड्रेस फर्स्ट आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ अ नेटवर्क इज इट्स नेटवर्क आई डी सो हेयर नेटवर्क आई डी विल बी वन वन जीरो जीरो विच इज वन नाइनटी टू ओके स्लैश ना लेट अस फाइंड द होस्ट आई डी सो इन ऑल ऑफ दीज वन ट्वेंटी सॉरी दीज आर हाउ मेनी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स बिट्स आउट ऑफ थर्टी टू विल बी वन ऑल ऑफ दीज आर वन फॉर सबनेट मास्क ओके इन नेटवर्क आई डी इट इज टू जीरो फोर इन सबनेट मास्क इट विल बी टू फिफ्टी फाइव सो टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट so we have one one in these two bits and all zeros for host id okay just as we saw in this n2 also okay actually the length of the subnet mask for n2 and n3 it will be same because host id is six bits here as well as here also so subnet mask will exactly be same so this will be copied okay this number one one all zeros will be 192 only okay now if you see you will not find this in options so is this incorrect is all of this hard work wasted no there are two correct answers to this question you will find one of them one of them in options this one specifically is not there in options i have intentionally first solved it using this way okay now we'll just solve it in the other way that answer will be present in the options but before that let us just reject some options option number a and b can be rejected because in option number a and b you can see there are two subnet masks that are ending with 128 okay in real answer only one subnet mask will end with 128 rest two will end with 192 only okay because we have only one big network there are two smaller networks for small for smaller network the subnet mask will be larger will have to include more bits okay in the network id part now let me just change it and then i'll just show you what is the actual answer so all of these things are valid that means for this one we will just choose one bit okay for that side we will choose one bit only but to differentiate between this network or this network we have to choose two bits all of that all of those things are valid but the bit that we have fixed in network id it is not compulsory that its value must be zero okay there is no such compulsion its value can be one also can be like this that means what i am trying to say is if in any address this first bit is one we will say it is this network but if this bit is zero we will say it is that side okay that means here we will have a zero and here also we will have a zero okay now if it is one then all the remaining bits will be host id but if it is zero we need to differentiate between n2 and n3 okay if this bit is zero then analyze one more bit if the next bit is also zero then we are talking about n2 if next bit is one that means zero one then we are talking about n3 okay now i'll just quickly write down the answers okay have a look i've just made some minor changes in this network id or let's start from here in this one the first ip address will be the network id earlier we had a zero here so 0 0 0 all zeros this place was zero but now we have a one here one followed by all zeros means 128 similarly this number will now be all zeros so i have updated this one to 204.204.204.0 okay and earlier we had one zero here so earlier it was maybe 192 but now we have zero one here so it is 2 raised to the power 6 that is 64 only okay so this is the new answer you can see subnet mask won't change it is same okay that means the number of bits that we decided for this one and this one 
they will be constant but only the value of that bet can be different okay if one person is solving he might take this as zero other person might take it as one so both of the answers are valid anyone can be present in the options but for this question specifically the question from 2005 we have this one in the options so maybe it is option c or d let us just see okay i'll just display it you can check which one is correct now i like to explain one last thing see already you might have just guessed it anyways we had a very big network in which eight bits were available for host id okay all of these bits are host id but we tried to subnet it that means we borrowed some bits first of all we borrowed only one bit so we've got seven bits in one network and seven bits in other network okay see if one bit is fixed that means this bit is fixed sorry this one if this is fixed we will be left with seven bits in host id in both of the networks based on this value you can just differentiate between both of them so now they will have two raised to the power seven ip addresses each if you talk about hosts it will be 2 raised to the power 8 minus 2 here minus 2 here also minus 2 okay so i'm not discussing about hosts i'm talking about number of ip addresses now the number of ip addresses is 2 raised to the power 7 here okay let's talk about hosts see number of hosts will be this number that is 128 minus 2 which is 126 out of these 126 i am going to use only 100 okay so in this network in this network we have 100 okay 100 hosts and this network is again divided okay so here we have fixed one bit once again this one okay so how many bits are left six so in this also you will have six bit host id here also you will have six bit host id six bit host id means two raised to the power six minus two that is 62 hosts can be configured why minus two because first one is the network id and last one we have already seen is the broadcast address dba okay so now out of these 62 we are configuring only 50 hosts here and 50 here okay so only three networks exist as of now one two three this one does not exist because it has been subnetted there is no network in which seven bits are there okay this one is there but this one does not exist anymore because we have broken it into two parts this one is there and this one is there okay i hope you understood a lot from this video and thank you very much for watching this so long video have a good day